Which, which year of the medical training do the students visit the death camps like Auschwitz? And, uh, In the pass of the second or third year. Thank you. Okay. The second, second, second year. Okay, thank you. Great. It's not a question, it's a comment. I find both university activities extremely encouraging. And I think this is just the surrounding and environment to make grow up person centered medicine. And you both sh have shown how much work organization, effort is in it, and how many years it takes to develop a highly educated uh, in relation, communication, and so on, educated uh, person that then is a medical helper. Thank you. Uh, uh, the element of focusing on the person, you know. Uh, curriculum is changing, changing radically. I'm now moving from the management of health service into educationalist, you know. Uh, I was amazed how little practical things the students are actually uh, exposed to and uh, making the curriculum sensitive. I mean, if you look at modern curriculum, if I take you to the journey of modern cur curriculum in some of the medical school in the United Kingdom, uh, it's of course, is guided by the regulator, you know. Uh, there are minimum requirement, which is all in tomorrow's doctors. Uh, tomorrow's doctors is a, a, a concept introduced in 1993 and is updated on a regular basis. You know, the last one, last document, tomorrow's doctors is uh, uh, actually uh, 2013, you know. And uh, always talking about how you prepare generation of medical graduate who are fit for purpose, you know. And uh, fitting for purpose is, is, is really, and, and by the way, just to say the term fit for purpose use that we are actually preparing you to the journey of medicine, not only to treat diseases, but to maintain health, you know? And this is really very important. But I mean, a student now engage from day one with, directly with patients. And it is not a person center only, it's a family center, you know? From day one, a student actually taking a condition within a family setting, <laughs> and they're looking how the condition is actually managed uh, by the general practitioners within primary care, by secondary care, et cetera, the interprofessionalism, the multidisciplinary, and, and within family setting, which is really very important. And uh, thank you very much for describing the two approaches you have in Bulgaria and here in Italy. Thank you very much, Salman. Uh, uh, Professor Lynn Getz. I want to thank you for really touching and, and illuminating lectures. And at the same time, I have a prayer, and it has to do with time management. I think, <laughs> honestly, I so much would like to be here at the end of the symposium. And I think part of person-centered healthcare is always to always be able to deliver and stay on time. And I, I don't know, I, I haven't had time to, I, I know I have one <laughs> fellow thinker, but I think these lectures have, they, they, they have uh, told us so much, and I was so touched by this, uh, by this uh, Spanish uh, example and the beautiful interpretation. Yeah. I, I, I think that actually deserves an applause. Yes. But, but, but I think we have just started on a journey, and, and we have been going into the evidence-based medicine debate, which... Yeah, that's a big one. And how to construct the curricula curriculum, it's another one. Uh, um, I think there are so many thoughts in our heads. My suggestion would be that we move short break and that we run through and try to stop on time. But I know I'm, I'm intervening a little bit now, but... Uh, 
No, no, Would no, you no, forgive no. me, Mr. Chairman? Not at all. Uh, in, in, uh, in that case, then, um, uh, let me take one, any, any one final question. I will deliver the microphone to anybody who... Will deliver the final question. Are we all agreed to have a break? Very well. To cancel it. Or to cancel the break. Ah, to cancel the break. Kind of stand up and sit down. <laughs> If everybody's agreed, I'm, I'm more than happy. Everybody's agreed. Let's ah. vote. It'll help us come back on time. Absolutely. Well, if everybody's agreed, yeah, absolutely. People start, like, because they have other obligations, and I think that would be a pity. Sure, sure. We need uh, uh, a group photo of final. How much time? Photo. Yes, yes. Uh, just one before we before we uh, give way to the next speakers, the next two speakers who will talk about Edmund, uh, various aspects of Edmund Pellegrino's uh, um, uh, vision of medicine, extremely influential and certainly has deeply influenced my own. Um, I would like to invite you all to take part in a group photo when we finally finish at the close of the symposium uh, outside. Uh, for, uh, uh, for those of you who are finding yourself able to stay, you are all invited to be in a group photo, which will then, of course, be globally available. Very well. Thank you uh, to the panelists. Thank you.